Egg shiny hunting in Poke MMO is notorious for being very expensive. But what if I told you that that is not always the case? Well, my name is Young Cabbage, and today we are going to be looking at some really inexpensive Pokemon that you can egg hunt for. Now, I do post Poke MMO content every single week, so consider subscribing so that way you don't miss out on some fun videos. To start this video off, let's talk about something a lot of Poke MMO players are not aware of, which is the gender ratio of certain Pokemon. As I'm sure you are all aware, some Pokemon can only be male, while other Pokemon like Vespaquin can only be female. But it actually goes further than this. For example, when breeding, a lot of Pokemon, the starters being the most notable, have higher odds of being born male than female. Specifically, the odds are 7 to 1 that it will hatch male. This makes it very difficult to shiny hunt as you would either need to catch dittos or another one of that species that is female in order to breed for another chance. However, just like their male counterpart, there are some Pokemon that can only be female. There are also some Pokemon that have a 3 to 1 chance of being female, making them a lot easier and less expensive to breed and shiny hunt for. And we actually have an entire list of the Pokemon by gender ratio thank you to Bulbagarden or Bulbapedia. So let's look at that really quickly. Now I've blurred out all of the other Pokemon that do not appear in PokeMMO, however every other Pokemon on this list has the 3 female to 1 male odds when encountering them in the wild or hatching them in an egg. And for the female only Pokemon, again I have blurred out all the Pokemon that are not in PokeMMO, but all of these in this list are 100% female, making them the easiest Pokemon in the game to breed for. I will leave this link in the description below, so make sure to go check that out. Now that you have chosen a Pokemon to hunt from this list, if you are just starting out, I would recommend filling up a box and a half of the desired Pokemon, then catching a box and a half of male Pokemon in the same egg group to breed with your desired Pokemon. In order to find and capture breeders, I will refer you over to Roy Rogers' video on where to catch these mons of specific egg groups. He made this video alongside some of my friends Cole and Kelly, and it is really well done, and without a doubt in my mind, it will save you a lot of time catching your breeders for these egg hunts. Now, keep in mind that when catching your desired Pokemon or breeders, leading your party with a Pokemon that has the Q-Charm ability will actually boost your odds of finding the opposite gender in the wild. So as an example, if you were to lead your party with a male Skitty that has Q-Charm, you will have a 15% higher chance to find female Pokemon in the wild, making it great for catching your desired Pokemon. Once you have your breeders as well as the desired Pokemon, simply breed all of them into eggs. I would recommend being on donator status or at least popping a shiny charm whenever you breed as that is when the shiny odds are rolled. It is not rolled whenever the Pokemon hatches. Again, the shiny odds are rolled whenever you breed the Pokemon into an egg, not whenever the egg hatches, so make sure you specifically pop the charm during that time. After that, you're going to just hatch the eggs to see if the Pokemon is shiny. If it's not, rinse and repeat. The last tip I will give you is when hatching eggs, leading your party with a Pokemon with the ability Flame Body will actually increase the speed at which you can hatch eggs making it a must-have on your team if you plan on doing an egg hunt. I personally have been egg hunting for a shiny Skitty, and I am about 330 eggs deep, but I do love how I can play other games, watch TV, or do any other task that I need while hatching eggs, as it really is just a waiting game. But what are your thoughts on these egg hunts? Did this video inspire you to give egg hunting a try? Have you already hatched a shiny Pokemon? Regardless, thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. Make sure to like if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for weekly PokeMMO content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I would also like to give a quick thank you and shout out to all of the YouTube members. You guys truly inspire me to be the best that I can. I'm grateful for you guys every single day. If you've not become a member yet, please consider it by hitting join on my YouTube homepage, and I hope you guys have a great day.